Hello everyone, Chris Profi back again. And uh, this next list was uh, very difficult for me to do. I'm trying to do, well, let me just say one of my favorite bands is Kiss. Um, I've seen Kiss quite a few times live. And, um, you know, ever since I was a kid, I just uh, have always loved Kiss. You know, I love their makeup, I love their sound, I love the look, I love the stage show. I loved, you know, the craziness of their concerts. I just loved everything about them. I mean, when I think rock and roll, I think Kiss. So I decided to um, come up with my top 10 Kiss songs. And I'm stopping at 1979. So I'm stopping with Dynasty. Um, you know, we all know Kiss went beyond 1979, but I'm just trying to stick with the years up until 1979. And this was difficult. Um, Kiss has a lot of songs. Kiss has a lot of great songs. Um, Kiss has uh, also some songs that um, could be considered overplayed, but are still classic. So I was trying to represent all the years up until 1979. Also, I wanted to try to uh, represent or, um, you know, have some songs that each of the members sang in because that was what was unique about Kiss as well as all four guys sang. So again, this was very difficult. Um, I would love to pick a song from each album, uh, but it just, just didn't work out that way. So these are my top 10 Kiss songs in order. All right, at number 10, the song Rip It Out from Ace's uh, solo record. That whole record kicks some serious butt, but I'm going to say Rip It Out is probably the best on there for me. So that's coming in at number 10. Number 9, Magic Touch off of Dynasty. I just love that song. Paul sings that song. It's got a great groove to it. Uh, there's a cool uh, mellow middle section to it. Um, it's just a great song. Number eight, had to put this song in there. Rock and roll all night. And what's great about this song is you got Gene and Paul singing together. So uh, very cool. And, and, and again, you know what? You think of Kiss, you think of that song, Rock and Roll All Night. I mean, anybody who doesn't even know who Kiss is has heard that song before. So it's got to be in the top ten. Uh, number seven. This spot, the number seven slot, was difficult for me. But I ended up putting in the song uh, off the first album, Nothing to Lose. It's just a great rock and roll song. And what's cool about it, too, is you've got Gene, Peter, and Paul singing on that song. So, um, you know, I feel like that's a great song for the number seven slot. Number six. Well, this is a barn burner. This is uh, the song Parasite. And uh, Gene sing, sings this one. It's got a great lead guitar lick. Dun 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 dun. And uh, you know, I've seen some old footage uh, back from uh, when you know Kiss was first performing the song, and they just had you know so much energy and so much fire, literally and figuratively, uh, in their performance. And I just remember seeing Parasite, and it's just such a heavy song. Coming in at the number five slot. Strutter. I mean, that's the sound of Kiss. You know, when I think Kiss, I think of the sound of Strutter. Just the guitar sound, the structure of the song, uh, Paul's voice, the subject matter. I mean, it's just, it's all Kiss. All right, so now, the top four songs for me. They, yours might be different than mine, but these are mine, okay? Number four, Detroit Rock City. And I'm going to pull out the live version from Alive 2. Because you get rid of all the sound effects that are on uh, Destroyer. Take the sound effects away. The song rocks, so the live version from Alive 2. Number three, Black Diamond. Such a great song. Paul and Peter singing. Um... That's another song. When I think of Kiss, I think of Black Diamond. 
out on the streets for a living. Pictures only begun. I can't sing that high right now. All right, so the last two songs. Um, and I guess really, you know what? These last two songs uh, come off of my favorite Kiss album. And, you know, doing this list, obviously it is because these last two songs come off of that album and they're in the number two and the number one slot. Okay, so here we go. Number two, I got to put Love Gun in there. That song, just the drums, Paul's presentation of the song, the melody, everything about it is just Kiss through and through. And uh, number one, my number one Kiss song. Off the same album. I Stole Your Love. Gotta be. Gotta be number one. So, there's my top ten, y'all. Let me tell you again. Number ten, Rip It Out. Number nine, Magic Touch. Number eight, Rock and Roll All Night. Number seven, Nothing to Lose. Number six, Parasite. Number five, Strutter. Number four, Detroit Rock City, the live version off of Alive 2. Number three, Black Diamond. Number two, Love Gun. And coming in at the number one slot, I Stole Your Love. So comment below. I'm interested to know what your top ten Kiss songs are. And uh, you know what? It's tough for a Kiss fan to, uh, to, uh, you know, bring it down just to ten songs. Um, So, you know what? Maybe I'll do um, a top ten of the 80s as well. You know, but you've also got Unmasked in there. I actually like Unmasked. Um, music from the Elder. I like some stuff off of that. You know, then you have Creatures of the Night, which was their last makeup album, which has uh, got some great songs on it as well. So, yeah, definitely past 1979. There's a lot of good stuff. So I might have to rate those songs as well. But um, that's my top ten of uh, the songs up till uh, 1979. Let me know what you think, and um, have a good day. <laughs>